hello everyone welcome back so in this video i will discuss about the plant cell suspension culture so without any delay let's start the video so first of all what is a suspension culture so suspension culture is simply when you culture the cells in the liquid medium so that culture is known as suspension culture so in the plant cell suspension culture when you culture the plant cell in the liquid nutrient medium and that produce the suspension of single cells or clumps so this is known as the plant cell suspension culture this suspension culture can be of two type that is batch suspension culture and continuous suspension culture first batch suspension culture so batch means when the culture is done in a fixed volume of culture medium when the volume of culture medium does not change during the culture so that culture is known as batch suspension culture means the volume of culture media will remain same it will not change so that is the batch suspension culture so as you perform your culture in the batch mode so the cells under the batch suspension culture will follow a specific type of growth curve which is here discussed as the first phase of the growth curve if you plot your cell number versus the time so the growth curve will be like this that is first phase will be the lag phase so during this phase the cells they just prepare themselves to divide they are not dividing but they are metabolically active they are making the you can say they are making the metabolites they are just preparing themselves so that they can divide so this is a lag phase during which growth is not there but they are highly metabolically active because they are preparing themselves to divide the second phase is exponential or log phase during this phase the cells divide at the highest rate so you can say that rate of cell division is highest in this exponential or log phase after this the next phase will be stationary phase because as the exponential phase so during this phase the cells they utilize the nutrients present in the medium but as the growth increases the nutrients start decreasing in the medium as a result now growth is just slowing down so in the stationary phase this is that phase in which the you can say the number of cell growing is equal to number of cell just getting killed ultimately there is no net growth rate during this stationary phase the net growth rate is zero but the cells are growing but the number of cells growing is equal to the number of cell dying so that's why during this stationary phase the net growth rate is zero after this stationary rate, uh, this phase the cells will now follow the death rate because as you imagine that the nutrients will definitely they will you can say they will exhausted so after that time once the nutrient will exhausted so the cells are now start dying so due to this the death phase will be there at which the number of cell as well as the size of cell will be decreased so this is the growth curve which is followed by the cells under the batch suspension culture now next continuous suspension culture here the continuous means now in this type of suspension culture we replace the used media by fresh medium so the culture is continuously going on with the fresh medium because we are replacing the use media with fresh media time to time so this continuous suspension culture can be of two types the first is closed continuous suspension culture so in this closed continuous suspension culture we replace the used media with fresh media but we also added back the cells which we just separated from the used media means we just take out the used media separate the cells from that used media and you can say just added these cells back to the culture so in the closed continuous the 
biomass keep increasing because we are adding back the cells from the used medium also so we are doing two things we are just adding the fresh media and simultaneously we are adding back the cells which we just get from the used media so this is the closed continuous suspension culture while the second type is open continuous suspension culture in which we just replace the used medium with fresh medium but the cells they are not added back to the culture so we just you can say we just throw out the spent media or used media we do not filter the cells and add it back to culture we just replace the used medium with fresh medium but we are not added back the cells to the culture so this is the open continuous culture in which we are not added the cells back to the culture so these are the two types of continuous suspension culture and this open continuous suspension culture is further of two types that is chemostat and the turbidostat so in the chemostat what we did the chemostat is a kind of you can say a bio reactor in which the continuous culture system is maintained by by making a single nutrient of the medium in the limiting concentration so means the single nutrient of the media will control the growth rate of this chemostat so it is a it has a continuous feed of fresh nutrient at the constant rate continuous removal of the culture at constant rate from other side keep the volume inside constant the second type of this open continuous is turbidostat here in the turbido state the cells they are allowed to grow up to a certain turbidity which is decided on the basis of the optical density once the turbidity comes to certain level now the media pump will switch on and it will adjust the turbidity to the required level by adding the fresh media so in the turbido state fresh media is added once the culture is reached to a predefined turbidity so these two are the types of open continuous suspension culture that is chemostat and turbido stat in the chemostat single nutrient control the growth rate while in the turbido stat the turbidity will be used to control the growth rate now the synchronization of suspension culture so what do we mean by synchronization so synchronization means that as you perform the suspension culture so the different cells of the suspension culture they will be at the different state means they may be of different size different shape different nuclear content and they are also in the different stages of cell cycle like they some of them may be at the g1 phase some of them may be at the s phase others may be at g2 and some may be of m phase so we can say that that the cells are not synchronous they are asynchronous but we have to make our cell synchronized so that they will move to a specific stage of cell cycle simultaneously so for this we can use these following methods like starvation inhibition and mitotic arrest so in the starvation we just make one nutrient which may be a growth regulator it is a uh, which is required for the growth so we just you can say we just stop that nutrient so now the cells they are starved of that particular nutrient which is required by them after some time we just added this nutrient back to the culture so as the nutrient is added back now all the cells because they were starved they were stopped at a specific stage due to the absence of that particular nutrient but now as the nutrient is now added back so all the cells they will enter the next division cycle synchronously next is inhibition so here we use certain biochemical inhibitors like 5 amino uracil so this 5 amino uracil it arrest the cells at the g1 phase and once we remove this inhibitor so now all the cells will move from g1 to next stage so this is the principle that first we add the inhibitors which will arrest the cells at specific stage and after some time we just remove that inhibitor so that now all cells will move to next stage synchronously the next is mitotic arrest in the mitotic arrest 
we use certain chemical which arrest the cells at metaphase stage so generally we use colchicine so colchicine it arrests the cells at the metaphase and once we remove the colchicine so the cells will now all the cells you can say all the cells will now move to next phase phase from the metaphase because now colchicine has been removed but keep in mind that colchicine should be used only for the short duration if you use the colchicine for the long durations then it may introduce some abnormal chromosomal mutations now this was all about the plant suspension culture that what is plant suspension culture the various types like batch and continuous culture and the chemostat and turbidocyte so this is all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much